What'd you think of Kung Fu Panda 3? Did you like it? No. No, you didn't like it? What is happening? What do you like more, Kung Fu Panda 3 or Toy Story? Good man. We just got done, me and my son Connor, a uh, little boys night out. We're, we just saw Kung Fu Panda 3. We're going to get the car wash now. It's a very manly thing to do. I have the GoPro hitting him. I got my uh, other camera hitting me. We're going to make this quick. I don't know how long this is going to last before one of these cameras just falls. Um, I'm willing to risk my child's life in order to get this review done. So that, that, that's the kind of parent I am. Kung Fu Panda, I've never been like the biggest fan of the franchise. They're, they're silly and fun and I think kids dig them. Uh, however, I thought this was the weakest of the bunch. Uh, Jack Black was just kind of annoying in this one. I, I, I like Jack Black. I think he's fine. Uh, but it, oftentimes I felt Poe was just way too goofy when it called for a serious scene. Um, something really emotional would be going on and, and the, the director, the writers would always find a way to just kind of take you out of the moment by some slapstick gag going on. Another thing I want to point out is the trailers are very misleading. There's two or three scenes that are not in the film, which is kind of puzzling for a movie that uh, animated films, usually they, they use all the resources they can. They don't like to uh, waste animation because it takes hundreds of hours to do. Uh, if, if not more, I don't know. I'm just making things up, honestly. I know it takes a lot of time. What was your favorite part of Kung Fu Panda 3? You like the naughty guy? Do you remember his name? <laughs> yeah, neither did anybody else in the in the movie because he's kind of this forgotten relic of a villain. He's come back after 500 years, I think it was. He's taken the chi out of all the characters, uh, and that's the basic. That, that's the essential plot. I don't remember his name either. I don't know his name. He's some sort of a bison dude. He has the God of War blades, which I think are awesome. The action in this, I think, is the weakest of the three. I don't think there's as much action now as there is in the past. Uh, I want to I don't... like the panda. You like the panda? Yeah, I did too. It, although it didn't seem like Poe really fought at all in this one. He had little tiny bouts, but most of it was him just kind of falling around and making com uh, commentary. And, and once more, whenever he was in a fight, it just, uh, it was so slapstick this time. There was no serious moments. And I get that it's a family kids movie, but How to Train Your Dragon does it much better. And uh, I'm, I'm a much bigger fan of that series, too. It's also funny that they're still using the original voice actors for all the characters, like Lucy Liu and um, you know, Jackie Chan, and, and all of them are back, reprising their role. And they have like three lines of dialogue each. I think Jackie Chan had the most at seven or eight lines of dialogue. Uh, do you have to pay these guys this much money to have these tiny little roles in the film? Mom, I need to the toy. I buy a toy. We're going to head to the toy store and uh, also maybe pick out a toy because um, this is just a fun fun day for the kids, for, for me and him. We're, we're going to see what we can find. What are you hoping to get, Connor? What, what do you want for a toy? A dino truck? We watched Dino Trucks on Netflix. That's a solid show. They only had one. They've only had one season so far, but we're we're into it. it it's the weakest of the three, honestly. If you're a big fan of the series, you're probably not going to be disappointed. It, I mean, it is similar to the others, but it is the weakest. Animation-wise, gorgeous. The best looking of the bunch. They did a little bit more this time with the paintings coming to life, uh, and the more traditional hand animation blended in with the 3D animation. I thought it worked really well. There's no real. There's no real big battles this time around. Um, there's a lot of like little smaller sequences, but nothing that wows you like that prison escape from the first movie or um, the final fight in the second film. I don't know. I, I I was pretty bored watching it honestly. Let's let's give this thing a score, Connor. Uh, what would you rate Kung Fu Panda three? One out of ten. Ten's the best. One's the worst. What would you say for Kung Fu Panda? I'm going to give the movie, I don't know, 6.5 out of 10. It, it doesn't matter. It's it, If you like the franchise, you'll probably like the movie. Otherwise, you're just there, and it's not going to wow you by any means. It kept our interest, so that's something.
I mean, when you when you have a four year old in the theater, that's everything. Thanks for watching and uh, take care. We're gonna get the car washed, get some toys, maybe get some pizza. It's gonna be a good night. Ultimate Jedi Master. Yes, I know. Trains you to use the Force. Become legendary.